Hi everybody, it's me. Um, part two, uh, finishing up my journal or working on the journal for my dad. Uh, right now, I'm just finishing up the little touches on the mini journals that I'm going to uh, send out. Except I misplaced my tape again. Huh. Well, it looks like I'll have to glue this because right now I have no idea where the tape is. So, but if you're just catching this and you didn't see the first part of the video, I'm making a, a prayer journal for my dad. Okay. And let's see, I've made four signatures. Actually, I made the pocket on this one and that's why these are here. So I will take those off. Because the pocket on this one should be, yep, see, perfect. Let's see if I have something that will fit in there. Yeah, there we go. See, perfect. Little journaling card. Just leave that in there for now. But I made four signatures, and I have the cover, front and back, and the binding. I sewed them in, or sewed them together and started decorating the inside and right here I just taped you know some folded up line paper on here because he's um, he prefers uh, oversimplified elegance that's my phrase I use for it but before I start on that again I wanted to finish up these little projects I had going and I did finish this up except for the clasp I haven't done the clasp yet but I went ahead and I stamped the inside pocket if you can see that I'm not holding that up very good see here's the front or the back here's the front I stamped this um, after I distressed the edges with uh, memento ink rich cocoa and I liked it so much, I didn't want to color it in, So, but I didn't want the surface to get destroyed. Uh, so I covered it with some triple thick. And then there's the back. When you open it up, you can see it kind of rolls to the back. You see that? And then inside on the pockets, I decorated. And then I just put a little, you know coral stamp on one stamp on each page a couple of them I think I've got two just for just for some interest so that one's done except for the the class this one I'm gonna leave as is so this one's pretty much done except for the class and this one I'm finishing up uh, I got both signatures sewed into this one now I can see that the right way on mine. I hope that means you guys can too. Usually if I see it backwards, you guys see it correctly. But if I see it correctly, you guys see it backwards. So let me know in the comments if if you're reading this the right way or if it's backwards. So I don't know how to fix that. But I'll fix it. I figured it out somehow. So, but yeah, this is the, the back of that one. And right now, all I need to do on this one, I could probably decorate those. But I don't know if I will or not. I may just leave it as is. So, but I found, I've got some teeny paper that people, some someone has sent me. I don't remember who sent me this, so I apologize if you're watching. But I get a lot of teeny paper. And then one of the, one of the challenges we had in uh, the flock, which used to be 70 Acre Studios was to send um, 20 painting papers out and uh, and I had quite a few partners so um, I ended up getting a whole bunch of painting papers from other people I mean they got mine but alrighty and let's see how we can put this in here here just as is yeah I just wanted something to cover the the inside back and inside front of this journal 
Now see, that came out kind of cool. I like that. But I don't believe there's enough on this side. Nope, I'm going to have to get another painted paper. Uh, let's see. How about this one? I like the colors on this one. You see that one? Some real pretty colors. So let's turn it this way. Nope, let's not turn it that way. Let's turn it this way. Turn it over and we will trace it and then cut it out. This is when I was trying to uh, color all my dies, my die cuts that were sent to me. And so what I did was I did it on a jelly plate and I laid my die cuts down, my, my gears, and then just pulled some scrap paper and pressed it down and pulled up the image. So let's cut this out for the front. I apologize if I have a tendency to pull it close to me when I'm working. That way I can see it better. Let's see. That's not perfect, but it'll do for government work, right? Isn't that how they say that? It's good enough for government work. So let me go ahead and just trim this side down just a little bit. There we go. And boink. Okay. Now I will glue this side in. And then this one will be done except for the, the clasp. like to kind of spread this out so it doesn't lump up and this way I can also make sure that I get the edges really really nicely uh, come on. there we go and let's pull this down And there we go. And we have an inside cover for the front and one for the back. There we go. That's the back, and that one's the front. And I like those colors for um, a fairy journal. Okay, now I've got three mini journals that I need to do clasps on. And usually, the easiest way i found to do that is with brads. Now, I don't have very many brads left. I'll probably have to get some, some more, but I have a couple, so all I need is three. Let me see. I've got some little ones, which I don't think will do very well, so let's use these. Um... Let's do a brown. Now I need a colored one for that. I guess we'll do we'll do a yellow for this one. Oh, actually I need two because one for the front and one for the back. So that's two. Let's get two matching for the others. Oh, there's a silver one. I can use the silver one for the fairy if I can find another one. And there's another silver and a bronze. So let me see. Yep, those two work. These two don't. So let me put this away. Mm. 
no, you can use buttons, you can use brads, you can use, you know, anything you want, really. Me, personally, ooh, I forgot about the pockets. Huh. Because I don't really want to put the brad through the pocket. Unless it's kind of a top. Well, that's one thing I forgot. So hold that thought for a minute and I will get some uh, string to use and we'll figure it out. Okay. Well, I've decided I'm going to go ahead. I'm using my pokey tool. It's Tim Holtz. Uh, it's a die pick, die cut pick, you know, to get up in little bits and bobs when you're using a die, die cut machine. Pardon me, I have to drink something. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this a little high. So I'm going to do my pokey hole right through there. And I'm going to press my brad through the hole. Let's see if I can get it because I can't hardly see. Poke it through the other way. There we go. Wow. Now I know why I don't use brads. Because I am not that coordinated. There we go. Now, you see, I'm not putting it all the way flush. Can you see that right there? I'm not putting it all the way flush to the paper. And when I fold out these, I'm going to make sure that uh, that I don't, you know, flatten this flush. And that's so that um, there's a little bit of movement and a little bit of looseness there to tie the thing around, okay? I want to make sure I get the pokey hole or the pokey thing in the right spot. Okay. Okay, that one's in the orange. So this one's got to be just at the top of the orange. I'm going to do the same here. I'm not going to put it all the way in or all the way flush. I don't know if you can see that. See how it's not all the way to the bottom or all the way to the paper. Okay. Now for this one, I decided on some pink ribbon. I don't know if that'll work. Doesn't look right. Let's see how about the blue. This one looks a little better. So I will start it in the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it underneath the thing right here like this and then tie a knot. There. That was, oh crap, I don't remember, right over left and this one's going to be left over right. My fingers are too fat for this, I believe.
And yes, they are. But crafters never give up. It's like Goonies. Goonies never give up, right? Okay. So that's that. And we're going to trim that just a little bit. And then we're going to leave this long enough. All right. See, it squashed down too much because I laid it flat. Mm. Pull it out just a little. Not a whole lot. And then rebend it. There we go. And then we can take this. And I squashed it again. There we go. And we've got a closure. I could probably put a little one of my beads or something on it, but I think for now that's all I'm going to do with that. Now we need to do the same with this. And since I don't have pockets on this one, I can do it without, not right here, make sure I get in the right spot here. I need to do it from this side. Okay, and then the same thing. Not too much. Actually, what I'll probably do, this will probably be a little bit easier for me. is before I tighten it, I'll go ahead and just tie the knot onto the back one. And that makes sense, right? Now this is just very, very easy. There's nothing, you know, uh, what do you call it? Oh yeah, that hadn't even gone through yet. Okay. There's nothing fancy. There's no... Um, you know, special rigmaroles you got to go through. Just something simple. All right. And then push it in. Go ahead and turn it a little. And then flatten it. Now the back one, you can probably flatten all the way to the thing, which I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. But the front one, on the other hand, I'm sure you wouldn't really want to because you've got to be able to get it off to open it, right? That makes sense. At least it does to me. Uh, okay. A little bit. Let's turn it. There we go. And now if you wanted to go in and put a little bit of E6000 or some hot glue or something on these, you know, hey, more power to you. And there we go. A little trim. So, oops, not very sharp scissors. Ah, they need to be cleaned, that's why. You ever find your scissors are going dull? You can start cutting on aluminum foil, but a lot of times what you can do is you can take steel wool. Now, very carefully, because obviously you don't want to slice up your fingers. Trust me, I filleted my finger right there. You can see the little dent 
where the scar is, right there. I was taking using scissors to take the backing off of the frame, and it went zoop straight down the side of my finger, and it filleted like a whole triangle right here of flesh up and over. Okay, you gross, I get it, but still, it didn't feel very good. Alrighty, so number two is done. And then the last one, which I didn't see anything else I liked, but I found this gold tassel, which I thought would be really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this side. That way, when I hang it, the tassel will hang. You know, when I tie it on or whatever, the tassel will hang. Uh, well, I guess we'll do it right here. Ouch. Okay. Helpful hint. Public service announcement. When you poke something through with your pokey tool, make sure your finger's not in the way. Because that really, really hurts. <laughs> All right. So we are going to there. And on the back, let's make sure we're even. Okay, that's in there. Now I wanted to keep in mind how far this one was because I didn't want it too long. Let's see, that one can come behind and just hang or not. I'd probably trim that. But this one, I wanted to be able to bring it up. See, that's still a little too long for me, but that's okay. And I always just wrap it around and let it hang. This one. There. Well, that didn't work too well. Okay. There we go. So there's my mermaid one. Front and back. And then my fairy one. And the whimsy one. And those are all done. Now we can get on to working on my dad's a little bit. Okay, put that up there and then these back in the thing. I have noticed though, it's a whole lot easier to keep your craft room organized if you're able to 
put things away within arm's reach. I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but to me it does. <laughs> Because I am a procrastinator. I will procrastinate until Jesus comes. Okay. Have you guys seen that one YouTube video? All right. And I don't, I swear, I don't even know her name and I don't mean anything by it. It was just absolutely hilarious you know those um those black they're supposed to be black pore reducers you know like black head um face masks and when you put them on though they tear off the top five layers of skin all right I mean, it just doesn't matter i've seen people on there um do the challenge where they've done like their whole chest with all their chest hairs this is guys obviously <laughs> you know women who have done like one whole leg and tried to, you know, peel this stuff off. But there's this one lady. And uh, she sounds, honestly, she sounds like she's um, from the islands, from Hawaii. And she does this challenge, okay, where she puts the face mask on. And, and um, oh, holy moly. And she goes to pull that thing off. Her reactions, the words that she uses will make you laugh so hard. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That was just too stinking funny. She's like, oh, Mama Jesus. <laughs> yeah, she... And then she's got the, the Hawaiian accent. I don't know if it's Samoan or Filipino or what. I lived on Hawaii for a couple of years. Um, but I was still, I was, I was still a kid. A young, not a kid kid, but I mean, it was after my motorcycle wreck. So I was 19. I moved on to Hawaii four days before my 19th birthday. And, uh. In fact, I had one of my daughters was born in Hawaii. If I call her my Honolulu baby, and that's what military does for you. But yeah. But she was so daggum funny. And you had to almost stop the video and go pee. Because if not, you would have peed all over yourself. Okay, I've got a pocket here. I'm not going to, like, totally overwhelm this thing with pockets. Uh, you, ever, you ever start a project and you don't quite know what you're going to do with it? So you just kind of set on it and then you work on it for a little bit and then you put it away and then you work on it for a little bit more and then you put it away and that's almost what I feel like doing with, with my dad's. Me, I'm not, I, I want to decorate, I want to embellish, but that's not what he wants. And so I have to keep that in mind. Okay. But I do know what I want to do. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to get some tape and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I got some more double-sided tape. And then I got I picked up some washi tape that I think he'll like. And I'm going to try and match up. I wasn't even thinking. Uh, got my glue stick as you know you always have to add sticky to your stickies <laughs> especially washi tape since it's low tack if you want it to stay permanent then you know you'll have to oh where's my card 
I don't know if you guys do this or not. I do. I can't find the one I started, so I'll just start another one. What I do is I'll take an index card, and when you peel off little pieces of tape, you know, like that have the tears in them, I don't know if you can see that or not, or just little pieces to, to, what I do is I'll put them on just an index card, and I'll leave that off to the side, and then when I get a little bit more, I'll put it on, you know, like just little pieces, and eventually it fills up the card, and then you've got your own little, uh, what do you call it, um, some decorated ephemera. <laughs> I can think of the word, oh my gosh. And after a while, it actually comes out pretty good. And if you want to color coordinate it with your washi tape or whatever, then obviously you can start two or three different cards. And it takes a little while, but it adds up. And here we go. I love this Elmer's Extreme. Okay. And then all I'm doing is adding a little bit of extra interest to the top of this page. Now, obviously, I don't want to go over the edge because then the page won't fold up. But see little pieces like, you know, like that. That may not be much, but you just throw it on there and let it build up. There. See, now that side doesn't look so plain. And this one is tans, so I've got this one, which I believe is a very beautiful one. I don't remember where I got it from, but it does look like a graphic 45 washi tape. All right. Okay, and this side is not straight, so I'm going to trim it off. And again, that little piece of extra, oops, is going to go on my card. Flip this upside down. That all this does is give a little bit of added interest. Now red. Oh, I didn't even get a burgundy one out. Wonder if the purple will match. I think so. Oh yeah, that'll be pretty. You see, that's a torn edge, and I want a straight edge, so I'm going to take that off, stick it over on my card, and then measure that out. These are just little, little things that, yeah, it can still be simple, can still be, you know, fairly nice. And doesn't have to be so plain. Ah, that one's a little bit long on that side. So let me pull that up a little before the glue dries. And cut that off. And of course, the little bit that's left over, put it on my card. But, just like that. Now on this one, let's see. What I did was I had Dad pick out some uh, different colors of uh, scrapbook paper. 
and I may have him pick out some more, but that coordinated together. Uh, pencil, pencil, pencil. To go on the insides of this. And it may seem a little silly, but yeah, I'm measuring each rut row raggy. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was going to say I'm measuring each uh, page individually because I suck at math. And this way. At least each page will work. I can't, don't want to just, you know, cut out a whole bunch at one at one uh, size because you know each page might be a little bit different. And this might be the long way, but that's okay. I don't, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? Not that I'm comparing my work to Rome, but. Sure, it took more than a couple hours to build the Colosseum and the Temple of Venus. <sighs> and the Parthenon. So, yeah. Oops, I missed the spot. I'm going to put one piece in the center. Now, because I missed a spot right there, what I'm going to do is after I lift this, fold that back over on itself. Okay, I'm going to Add a little bit of glue right there. Look how pretty that is. Then Dad can always put his photos on here or whatever. Oh, there's my other one. Ah. Okay, so let's do this. He really likes the 23rd Psalm. And so, and that's what this one says. It's Don't you all wish you had a bigger desk? I know I do. I'll just go all the way across. I'm sure I'll have another page. There we go. Let's 
since I found the short one, I will use it up. Now you may be thinking, gosh, she's using an awful lot of double stick tape. And if you bought it here in the States, yeah, it would be expensive. But I buy mine through AliExpress and I get like 10 rolls at a time. And it's like 10 rolls at a time and I think I spent like 4 or $5 for 10 rolls. So I'll buy like, you know, two sets of 10 or four sets of five or something like that. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've had to buy any. So the only thing is when you order from AliExpress, it'll take anywhere from two, two weeks to two months to get your, uh, to get whatever you, you order. So if you are going to order anything, you know, like tape or glue or anything like that, don't wait until you're out to order. Like I've probably got five or six rolls left and I give this away a lot in my giveaways and things like that. Um, I always throw in a roll of double stacked tape because I know it does get expensive. But, uh, yeah, don't wait. And for me, I plan on, in fact, with this, this month, um, with the, my shopping this month, I, I have to budget and I spend so much a month, you know, on my crafting stuff. And so this month, uh, I'm going to buy some glue and some, uh, not glue, uh, some more tape. And I might be able to squeak in, you know, something else. Okay, so, so far we've got this one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And I've got one, two, three, four more for this, for this signature. And then honestly, this signature will be done. I'm not going to do anything else to it, you know, except the washi tape across the top. Um, because that's just something I believe my dad would prefer, you know, and if he wants to do anything else to it, he'll do it himself. But that's pretty much all I'm going to do with all four signatures. There's the other ones. And actually, I may have to have him pick out some more paper because... <laughs> I may have enough right here to, to finish up two of them, and then I'll have to... Let's see, that's one, two, three, four... Five, six. Yeah, I have six different sheets. But I may even cover, in fact, what I may do right here. Let's see, where did it go? Here it is. This may be the perfect size. That's Leviticus, and it is. So, that's beautiful. So, I will do Amos and put that in there. cut off the top. Oh, no, I don't want 20 pages. Just two. Now, like I've said before in the part one of my uh, 
of this series, I will get a lot of flack from folks because I chose to use Bible pages. But I look at it like this. All right. One, this is a personal journal. I'm not selling it to anybody. I'm not even giving it away to anybody other than who I'm making it for. Now, when we make crafts and we do things like this, don't we try to personalize them for the person we're giving it to? Well, we do. And my thing is I would not be the person I am today if it wasn't for my father. And my father brought me up steeped in the Bible. Yes, I have a very healthy respect for the Lord and for the Bible. I have Bibles I've used for so long they're falling apart. Okay. Why throw them out when I can utilize them and still enjoy them? And that's, that's what I'm doing. So, and because this is onion skin, I'm going to use a glue stick. And trust me, this Bible that I got these pages from, I spent over $70 on. Because it was a study Bible. And I used it so often, the daggum thing fell apart. There. Now, do I want to throw $70 in the trash? Absolutely not. So what am I going to do? I'm going to reuse that baby. And enjoy while I'm doing it. Oh, my spray bottle. Here we go. Now, I've realized that some people don't appreciate it. Which is, you know, hey, to all and each their own. Me, I'm not ashamed of the Bible. I will share it. I will use it. I will play with it. I will study it, I will read it, and I have a lot of it memorized. And the Bible even tells us God's word will not return void. So even this little thing, if it gives my dad inspiration and it makes him focus on God, then I've done my job. Okay, let's see how far up is the plane. All right, I need this one. Okay, so if I get nasty comments about using the Bible, that's your prerogative. Totally your prerogative. Oops. Right there. Alrighty. And we need to trim this. I am just going to trim it with scissors and pray I get the line even. Uh, 
I'm going to say something that's probably going to make somebody mad. Because you can't please people. Or you can't. There's no way to please everybody. And uh, my comment to those who get upset about me using pages of the Bible in my crafts. Okay. If you're so upset about that. Right. And you think the Bible is so sacred. And it is. It is the word of God. Okay. Have you done anything about, you know, the government taking the Bible out of schools? Have you written your congressman? Have you voted? Or are you happy to sit on your behind? And get offended over something like this, but not be offended over something, you know, that we can actually do something about. You know, because them taking the Bible out of school, the Ten Commandments out of our government, all of that it didn't happen overnight. That was, that's been... You know, that's been a long time coming. People have just turned the other cheek and walked the other way and been very apathetic about our government's mm, meddling. And, oh, I know I'm going to get a bunch of people hollering at me for this, but that's okay, too. This is my channel. If you don't like it, bye. I mean, I love everybody. Don't get me wrong. It's just... I don't know. I'll shut up. Don't want to make too many people mad, I guess. But at the same time, I'm hoping... I need more of this, but I don't have enough to cover the whole page, so I will just do a good chunk out of the middle. How does that sound? And just kind of right there. Works for me. I forgot one right in the middle. Let me just do this. There. That way the center's at least got some stability to it. Side. There we go. So I say, did not want to come off. And there we go. piece of tape did not roll under like it was supposed to. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, stuck right there instead. All right, I got one more right here, and then I am going to let this one go. See now that's the perfect the perfect width. So let's just trim off the bottom a little bit. I don't have to cut another page. This one's already been cut. Oh now see that's perfect. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That whole sentence, I could just put that in somewhere. See, this video is not monetized. At least it isn't by the time I'm saying this. And if it gets monetized, I guess I'll have to go in and demonetize it. So <sighs> I don't get reported. But that's just freaky. Okay, that one's done. You go to somebody else's channel and report them for their beliefs or their opinion when all you have to do is change the channel. <laughs> okay, so I'm a little bit snarky today. i sorry. I don't mean to be. Yes, I do. No, I'm just me. I can be a whole lot more snarky, but... I really am a good person. I just, I don't have tolerance. I don't have patience for willful ignorance or willful stupidity. And that's how I look at it. upside down. That would have given my dad a headache. He'd have been like, oh man, his OCD would have kicked in from, oh, uh, he'd have been like, Kelly, take it back. Take it back. I don't want it. <laughs> All right, everybody. This one, well, aside from the washi tape, let me go ahead and finish that up real quick. Uh, let me pause. I'm going to get some more washi tape to help match. Be right back. All right, my lovelies. Uh, let's see, we did purple here. That one's pretty. We did the green there. Let's do a burgundy or a red here. All right. Whoops. Now see, this will be a piece that'll go on my index card since it tore. Now let me pull that index card out since I lost it. Where did it go? Okay. Well, I know it's here somewhere. Oh, that's not it. Ah, there it is. Okay. Let me use scissors so I don't have to cut it again. There we go. And I'll put that one right here. Whoa. Let me get these out of the way. <sighs> Excuse me for just a second so I clean this up just a little bit. And there we go. So. And then, of course, do a little bit of 
bit of glue on your washi tape if you want it to stay. And there we go. Not a lot, just a little bit to kind of break up all that white. I'll see, now that one's pretty. Let's do that with this one. Have you ever noticed that some washi tapes, it doesn't matter what you do, but all they want to do is tear uneven or split. See, like here's a little piece. Actually, let me do that. See, just little pieces. Okay, that will eventually make turn into hopefully a very pretty collage. I keep wanting to tear it because that's usually what I do. Okay, when I get done with this one, I'm going to run it out to Dad. Uh oh. I guess I cut this one a little bit too long. So let's trim that up. Take this piece. See why I throw that out? And I can put it right there. And there. Bible page. I'm going to use, whoops, let's put that away going to use this one. Uh, I try and catch as many live streams as I can. Um, I have a hard time sleeping and I've been working really hard trying to regulate my sleep pattern. So that means going to bed a lot earlier than I used to. I mean, if I went to bed before 5 o'clock in the morning, I was lucky for the longest time. You know, so I'd be able to sit up and I'd watch all, you know, the late night um, crafters. And I haven't been able to quite do that because I've been working really hard on trying to regulate my sleep schedule. And so I've been missing some of my favorites, you know, like Stacy's usually at night, uh, Pink Poodle Craft. Um, I usually watch her and she's used to be where she'd be on on Mondays and then Fridays, you know, and I could justify staying up once a night one night a week, you know, um, that late, but now she's on almost every night of the week and I can't keep up. Oops. Nope. I better cut that. Made it too long again. All right. Open that little piece. It was right there, but I try and support those crafters that I like. You know, I watch their live streams when they're live if I can, if I can catch them. Uh, see, that one's pretty. I think that one will go nice with this. But I can't stay up late like I used to. I've never, ever in my life been a morning person. I've always been a night owl. Ugh. And I'm trying to get myself out of that. Ah, 
There we go. And that was it. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Did you find that uh, Not yet. The one I told you I called R&B. Yeah, I know. But I haven't looked for another one yet. Okay, is this good or do you want... You have to look through it. I don't know. It's real hard to see when you're fiddling. That's why I'm handing it to you. <laughs> well, that's fine. Let's see, look. I know. Okay. We talked about that. Yeah. I mean, do you have something else in mind? Hmm. Even a bibble page. Yeah. Do you not want a bibble page? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Scripture from Amos. And then there's a pocket in the back. So is it okay to do all the signatures that way? <laughs> all right. So one signature is done. Well, if you... Don't assemble all the signatures. You know, we'll keep them, like, or, you know, if I am on a trip, I could take one and just use it. Oh, okay. So instead of sewing them in, because I sewed these separately... Okay. That's what we talked about. Right. Those I sewed in. That's what we talked about. All right. So instead of... Um, it can either be a ring. It can be... Uh, no, what I'll have cloth. to do then... What I'll, If you want to be able to take each of these individually, um, I'll have to make you a different cover. Uh, one that's... I know that's one whole piece. And then I can put these in with some elastic, so that way you can just slide the elast slide it out of the elastic, and then put it back in. So go sit down, go do what you got to do. All right, so I will have to make you a different cover. Well, I didn't even have to get up and go ask him. He showed up right on time. See right there, right on time. <laughs> um, so, but he likes the way this is done. Which is good, you know. He can add his own pictures on the side. Uh, and he's got his own journaling thing. And he said not to attach them all because I was going to, you know, sew them in. Like here's here's the front cover. And here's the back cover. And I was going to sew them in to the binding and then cover it with the jeans but he said no he'd rather be able to take the individual signatures out so in, in essence he'll have four journals by the time I'm done that he can take out and put back in to his leisure so but that's pretty much what I'm going to do with these other three, the three I have left, um, trying to come up with something that I might be able to, you know, surprise him with, but he's not real big on surprises. But other than that, that's it for tonight. I'm sorry if I waxed philosophical and I made you mad. It was not my intention. My intention is, you know, to speak the truth as as I see the truth. May not be your truth, may not be somebody else's truth, but it's my truth. And it's what is important to me. Now I can save this for another journal, that's no big deal. But on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Uh, next time I come on, there'll be a part three and we'll have to do a new cover. So that's probably what we'll do then. Um, always find the humor in life. If you don't, life sucks. All right. You'll hear me say this on almost every stinking video I do. All right. I also have a secret word that if you watched my videos before, you know, if I say the secret word 
and you can tell me the secret word in our Facebook group, which is Coffee Cup Crafts and Conversation on Facebook. The first person who to, to tell me the secret word that I gave in my videos, now it's not going to be every video, it's every often, gets a pretty decent sized goodie bag. Goodie bag. Um, and right now, I think my secret word is going to be, well, I'll say a phrase this time, okay? Oversimplified elegance. Let's see if anybody was paying attention. So that is my word. It's oversimplified elegance. Um, if you can post that on the Facebook page, first person. Uh, you get a goodie prize. Okay? So, always give yourself the freedom to art yourself silly. Always find the humor in life. Okay? If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumb it down. It doesn't bother me. Um, if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, hit the subscribe button. You know the drill. Uh, if you want to be notified, click the little bell. And right next to the subscribe bar, and it will notify you up in your um, YouTube you have notifications that I'm going, I'm downloaded a video or I'm going live or whatever. Uh, but I want everybody, even though you may not agree with me, I still want you to have a blessed day. And I still want you to know that I care. I care about you. Even if we don't agree, um, I still care. Because you have a right to your feelings and your opinions the same way I have a right to mine. Alright, so have a blessed week and I will see you for part three. Bye.